Hey guys, how are you? Just want to talk to a couple minutes about uh, some uh, speaker bags or speaker uh, speaker cases, covers. Um, I've really been wanting to talk about the uh, Yamaha uh, Fisher Yamaha ones that uh, I had for the uh, DXRs, my 10s, 12s, and the DXS 15 subs. Uh, but because I've sold all that gear, I guess I can only talk about them and wouldn't have nothing to show, and that probably wouldn't be too fun. So. Um, uh, but right now, uh, tonight, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the, uh, the gator cases, uh, bags, or gator totes. I uh, forgot what they call them on their website, so uh, that's what we'll talk uh, a little bit about tonight. So let's go. All right, so first of all, this is going to be more of a, a talk, I guess. Uh, I don't feel that I've put these through enough to actually give them a re review, so uh, that wouldn't be fair. Um, I bought these years ago. Um, after I got my DXR 12s, uh, I believe these were less expensive than the uh, Fisher Yamaha covers. Um, so I got these in uh, right away, and so I used these uh, for the first couple gigs. So I'll just tell you uh, a little bit uh, about them here, show you some things in case you're considering these, and um, that way you can make the uh, best choice for you. So first of all, the side pocket right here. The pocket, as you see there, uh, held uh, closed by Velcro. It actually, with a, uh, inside here I have a, uh, this is for the 12-inch uh, uh, speakers. Uh, so inside here I have a uh, DBR12, Yamaha DBR12. And uh, as you can maybe see here just a little bit, the side pocket that they give you is actually pretty spacious. Or spacious. So I, um, I, I appreciate that. I mean, I could throw an um, IEC cable in here, IEC and maybe an extension cord. Uh, or a couple IECs or a couple of uh, XLRs coiled up. Uh, microphone or something if you needed to drop down in there. Uh, you could probably stuff this pretty good if you needed to and still be able to uh, close that flap. So I think that's pretty cool uh, to have a little bit of a, a spacious area right here uh, to, uh, to put stuff in. The, um, the way that um, these are designed, uh, you see right here just a little bit. Um, so you take your uh, take your straps, um, un undone with a uh, Velcro, pretty typical. Flop them out of the way. You got a zipper on each side here to undo your strap, or yeah, your uh, the top portion of your cover. It's held in place by Velcro. You can just flop that back out of the way right there. Then you can expose your uh, your speaker. Um, I suppose a couple of ways that, that, that you could do things is you could, you could just grab it by the handles, and just pick it up like that, um, or possibly, possibly when you're, um, when you're un, uh, unzipping it, you could maybe have your uh, speaker cabinet setting up like this, unzip it uh, like I just did, uh, flip your back out of the way here, and then you can uh, just have the back of your speaker there. And you can just go ahead and grab it and, um, and pull it out of there. Uh, there's there's not a lot of rigidity to this, so, so you'll find that this kind of uh, um, uh, folds up a little bit or kind of collapses a little bit. So you may have to pull it back a little bit and just kind of push this off and yank it out of the way uh, like that. Um, as for as for the padding on these uh, on these case here um, or the totes, uh, you. See, the tag here officially looks like a GPA tote 12, uh, but probably for the same for the 10 and the 15. Um, the padding, there is some padding here. Uh, you, can, you can definitely feel it. Um, I can't say that it's really thick, but you can definitely feel uh, the padding here. And I believe, I believe that it's the same all the way around. The same thickness of padding all the way around. So I just want to take a look here and make sure you can See that okay, yeah, yeah, I think so. So, so there you go, yeah, you very simply grab your speaker, yank it out of there if you wanted. Um, when you're done at the end of the night, um, the handful of times that I use these, I'm pretty sure I just had it, uh, had the speaker uh, laying flat down, had the cover hanging, hanging flat down. Just take your, uh, just take your top here, flop it over, start. Uh, Start zipping it. Zip it down. And that's sure if you can still see right here a little Velcro. Just um, secure your Velcro right there. 
and uh, and there you go. So probably maybe maybe this is just me, may not be you. Probably probably the biggest thing that I didn't particularly care for is when I had my DXRs in here. DXRs were like 42 pounds. So you uh, you pick these up. I know it's going to go out of your view for a little bit, um, but uh, you hang this down at your side with your with your arm hanging, and the bottom of the speaker is uh, kind of at my shin, just a little bit above my ankle. And I found that when I was walking uh, with it, um, the speaker would want to be kind of um, bouncing off my leg a little bit. And I found it uh, a few times that I did use them. Like I said, that's why I said I can't give a full review because I have not. I can't in the years I've owned these. I've, I've never continued to gig with them. Uh, but only because I got the MI cases. But they would be a little bit cumbersome, you know, they'd be kind of bounce off my leg. So you got, you're carrying your bag, you got like 42 pounds down there. Um, you know, so I'm kind of leaning to the side a little bit and bounce off my leg. And then you're trying to get in a door somewhere and, and they would kind of, you know, maybe, maybe just sway a little bit. I bring it up and I say that because I hope you can still see this right here. What I did do uh, for the times that I use these, I actually took and I would try I would try to to twist up these straps right here. And maybe it's stupid, maybe it sounds stupid, but uh, maybe I, I would twist these up here when I would use these uh, for the simple reason of of being able to uh, carry the bag and being able to keep it. Uh, it would give it. Uh, it, would, it would keep it higher on my body. While I was while I was holding it down, and you could probably strap these up or twist these up a little more. Um, whether or not this uh, does anything to the uh, structural integrity of this uh, of this tote at all, I'm not sure. Um, but but that's what I would do, and, and and sometimes I did a little more. But you know, I probably shaved off a couple of inches there. Is 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 what I'm thinking. So. Um, Again, I try not to nitpick stuff. If you watch some of my other videos, um, you'll know that I just like things that are practical and, and predictable, and, and this seemed to work better for me to be able to do to be able to do something like this. So just so the center, I guess center of gravity, or just just so the speaker wasn't kind of swaying down at my ankles. You know, I was able to keep it tighter to my body. So um, that's what I did. You may not have to do that. I always say. I always say do what's do what's best for you, and uh, I found that the times that I did you know use this, I would always I would always make sure that whenever I did set it on the ground, you are putting it right on the uh, on the face of the speaker on the grill. Um, so I would I would make sure that I always tried to um, you know set that down gently just for that reason. But but like I already said, there is uh, there is there is padding all the way around, and so as long as you're not rough on them, um, you know it's it's. I don't believe it uh, would have been a problem. So here's the uh, here's the inside of the uh, of the tote itself. Uh, this is the material. I mean, it, it, is, it is a soft uh, material um, all the way through. You've probably seen um, if you follow any of the DXR stuff, you'll see that they you know lots and lots of uh, um, people mentioning that they uh, they kind of scuff and scratch pretty easy. The times I used it um, in these, I never I never seen anything. On the uh, on the cabinets like that, so um, like I said, this is just a soft uh, material. I can't think right now what it would be called, but yeah, it's, it's just a soft material all the way through. Um, you know, this is an official uh, Gator uh, tag for uh, Gator cases. Right back in there, the uh, here's the bottom of it. Like I said, there is no um, there is no. Uh, uh, binding or anything to uh, to keep it from collapsing, uh, but heck, I was okay with that because uh, I keep these in a in a closet right now, just kind of uh, just kind of folded up like that. So so I was totally good with that. So um, some of the uh, some of the stitching right here, the times I did use them, I mean, there's 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 been no tearing um, of any of the stitching like that. But like I said, I, I I can't give a review like I can on some of my other gear. Uh, just because I haven't, uh, I haven't continued to um, use this bag like I have some of my other gear. So um, again, this is, I guess, just more of a quick, uh, of a quick, of a quick rundown. All right. So hey, so pretty much, 
I think I already said uh, I bought these when I first got my DXR 12s uh, years ago, and um, uh, that's my limited use with them. So maybe this is just an overview. Maybe this is just something to show you the, the cases uh, in, in case you were curious. I see I see nothing about these. Uh, I mean, for the money, I think I think these are I think these are quality cases. I I have nothing negative to say. Uh, they would fit my use. Um, throw the speakers in, walk out the door, throw them in the truck, get to the show, unload them. Uh, they're protected uh, from dust, uh, from some, maybe some light scratches or dings and stuff like that. Um, I talked about the straps. I mean, if I had my choice, they they would be a little bit, uh, they'd be a lot shorter just to just keep those straps uh, just above the uh, the speaker. Um, check uh, Gator's website. Um, for you know speakers that that would fit into this this again is the tote 12 I think it's called um, so you know my DXR 12s fit the DVR 12s and um, certainly don't want to mislead nobody I uh, think I mentioned like uh, QSC's K series and probably a handful of others uh, would fit in this too check that for yourself um, so I have found that um, I remember at one point when I had my DXR 10s I thought it would be cool I, I, I took I took and threw my DXR10 in here, which left a lot of room, and it left a lot of room for cabling and stuff like that. If I wanted to remove that from my other gear bag, because maybe like a lot of you guys, I'm always trying to, I'm always trying to make something more convenient and, and more more quick to go, to set up, to gig, to tear down, to come back. So I tried that, and um, I don't think it was like a whole bunch quicker. And then unfortunately, uh, I still had the. It was just. It was just definitely harder to. Uh, it kind of had to make you think about carrying them as opposed to, to grabbing uh, maybe a 12 inch or 10 inch cabinet with a top handle or a 12 with a top handle or a handle on the side where you can just keep it close to your body. So again, that's me. It may not be you. That's that's what I found. So, um, again, they seem fine. No problem with zippers, stitching, or anything like that. Um, I ended up putting them in the closet when I ordered all my uh, Yamaha cases, but if you watch my other video on microphones and what we use, why we use it, um, you'll see there's a couple like even the Audix OM2, like I, um, I don't use it um, anymore, at least on a regular basis, and, but I'm glad I got it. And these right here, I haven't used, but I'm glad I, I'm glad I got them. Um, it's probably uh, pretty stupid, but I can't even remember where half of my luggage and stuff or my like duffel bags and stuff for like traveling and stuff is. So, um, you know, when I go um, hunting, like hunting trips and stuff, I, I knew where these were, right? They're in the gig closet, you know? So I would go grab, I got two of these. I would go grab one and just throw a bunch of uh, um, clothes in here. So yes, these have been repurposed uh, for uh, traveling. So um, just put a bunch of clothes in here and I was good to go. So anyways, uh, maybe there's a bunch of videos out here on these. Um, maybe you didn't see something zipped in and zipped out. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Um, check out the other videos on the um, uh, on the channel here. And if there's any specific questions that you have on these, let me know. I'd be glad to answer them um, or show something else on them. And um, other than that, do good shows and be good. We'll see you next time.